All right, Coastal Con fans, we are about to play a game of Urban Manhunt. I have my friend Raul here. Hello. And my son Nate here. Hello. And we are getting ready to go. We are deployed. We've got our criminals on the board. We're not going to go any, over any rules with this. You can, uh, I can't remember, did, did we do a how to play this one? If not, we'll do it afterwards. I don't think we did because we don't know how to play yet. We're still figuring it out. <laughs> so if you happen to be uh, here for the whole video and you know how to play, feel free to point out our mistakes. So right now, all of us are deployed. The criminals are deployed. Raul has the initiative, and we're just getting ready to flip over the control deck. We've flipped the event card. Now we go to the control deck. All right. Restock pods. There's no pods need to be restocked. They're all good. No event cards are drawn. Crim placement. Place three crims. We're good. And we've got the crim actions all set. So we are good to go. So, Mr. Raul, you have the first go. You are Thank up you. first. Every character has how many? Uh, one or two actions per turn. Uh, two. Two actions, okay. So I'm going to get my character to move. It's going to be at What are those actions? All the things you have on your, your attributes, pretty much. Run, Yeah, hit, you can shoot, uh, fight, run, shoot. Yeah. My uh, try to spot someone who's hidden. So athletics is three dice. You can roll three dice. Whew, that's two good. successes. So, so you get six inches of movement. Yeah. And you can move, move. Successes. You can shoot, shoot. You can double up your actions however you like. Let go. Let go. Okay, there we go. Move again. Woo! Six inches again. Yes, I'll take it. Mr. Raul is cruising. So these right here are our pods. That's oh, where yours. we can restock if you need to reload or something to that effect. So over to you. And Max, for a vacation, we have a 180... A uh, line of sight, or is it 360? No, this one's 360. Got it. Okay. Can well, you not how, see him from where how you far, are? How far can I move? Uh, you move whatever your athletics is. You'll roll that many dice, target number of six, and then add however many successes you get, add four to it. You have a base movement of four. Four inches. Roll your athletics, which is going to be four dice. One of them needs to be an impact die. Roll those, and you're looking for sixes. Bam. Okay, so you'll have six inches of movement. All right, and I'm going to shoot that dude. All right, so now what you're going to do is you'll roll to hit. So your shoot is four. You're shooting against the cyborg bully, and his defense is two. So you're going to need two successes. I've got an accuracy of plus one. What's that do? Accuracy of plus one is going to be plus one to your to your rolls. So if okay, you roll so a five, it's a five. six. Right, basically. Um, I got two. I got one. Okay, so you did not hit because his defense is two. So you need two successes in order to hit him. So you do not hit him. What's depletable mean? Depletable means that it, like if you auto hit or if you, I believe if it's a fumble, then you deplete your ammo, but you can get more ammo. That's what these are all about. My what's weapon a, is... What's a fumble? A one. Oh, I don't know if I roll. I don't know if I roll. That's okay. Don't else. worry about it. That's all right. Don't worry about it. All right. I am going to try and go two with my amazing... Oh, no. I have athletics of three. It's my pizzazz that's bad. Mm -hmm. All right. I got to try to kind of get close here. Nice, two. Two. Six I'll inches. Take six. Come around to right there. And I am also going to take a shot. I have a flamethrower. Mm. So my flamethrower is accuracy zero, range eight, damage three. It automatically hits the crim, but I still have to roll to make sure the fuel is not depleted. The nice thing is um, I can set everyone on fire. Cover does not protect against this attack. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so I will roll to hit to see if I deplete. Oh, wow, nice. No, nope, I'm good because I got a 10. Um, let me see something real quick. And then Saturday we have... All right, well, the very first shot of the game in classic Mac fashion... I have depleted the ammo in my flamethrower. Mm. 
right out the gate. Yay! There was much rejoicing. And but you did you get through kill. that? And you had to get through that. I, I didn't because the fumble also cancels one of my successes, and I only had one success. But you know what? I did get a momentum already, and I'm going to spend it because I have a one momentum for a reroll. Okay, perfect. May reroll one die for each momentum. So I had a uh, five, which was a miss. What if you reroll the ten? Fumble? That's what I'm rerolling. Okay. You mean if I roll it again? No, I'm saying what if you uh, get rid of that? That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. okay. Good enough. Okay. But this is a petty crook with a defense. Oh, it auto hits anyway. Yeah. I just had to make sure I didn't deplete. Okay. Yeah. So it's damage of three. The petty crook has no armor. So these are just going to be straight up. Give me three. Hmm. Two. I got two. So that is going to be two wounds on the petty crook. I like that. And you get your momentum back. No, I didn't roll. I, didn't I have to roll it on the M. Yeah, I didn't kill him. He's only got he's only got one wound left. I thought whenever you rolled the ten, you got a on your bucket. impact die. Yeah. Oh, and he's got, got two, two wounds there, and now we will move them. Okay, starting with your petty crook over here, Mr. Raul. Where is he going? Let's see what he does. We are on typical demeanor. He's going to do action three. He is going to hide, so he's going to, or she's going to get in cover and try to hide. And then the crooked lawyer, oh, he didn't even get to roll. He's going to flee, so he's going to run. Who can he see? I don't think he can really see any of us, so he can kind of see you. He'll probably run from, Okay. How far? Uh, just here, let's see. How many inches? He's going to run towards the big cover right there. Um, he <coughs> is going to move six. Oh, all day long. Okay. Boop. Then we have the pistol pack and hoodlum here, who is a typical. Going to also, oh, the, she's going to seek cover. Or he's going to seek cover. I'll we'll go there, get in some cover. And then we have my petty crook is going to a ten, no, okay. a 10 is going to try and hide. He's gonna hide right there, which means I'm gonna have to spot him and the cyborg bully. This aggressive demeanor. Uh oh. He is going to attempt to charge. Fortunately, he only has a move of five. So I got pinned back in the first game that we played. I got pinned in the corner the whole game. <laughs> but I ended up winning because I killed the most crim. They kept coming to you. They did. All right, so that is the end of the first turn. We flip the next control deck card. We restock pods. Nobody's pulled any pods. First player draws one event card. That is you. Actually, I'm sorry. That's oh. you this time. Okay. Goes Don't around the table. Oh. So draw one of these cards right here. Survey says... Where did it go? The first player's hunter may not use a random item attack until the hunter takes a universal action and makes a successful mind check versus two. If it succeeds, the attack may be used as normal. Check fails. The hunter must take another universal action and make the check successfully. If the hunter moves further than six inches from the spot, the attack cannot be used the rest of the match. Okay, so that's not really going to impact us right now, I don't think. Random item attack. Um, okay, so I have two items. I have a hunting knife and a hunting rifle. But the, I don't think those count as random items. Oh, use a random. Oh, so randomize which one it is. Alright, I guess one through five is my rifle. Okay. Of course. Alright, All right. can't use your rifle until you make a universal action. Stabby, stab death. You can do this. Alright, mind check versus two. Alright, you got this. You got this. You got this. Hey, hey. You got one. Cool. So I can use... Nope. No? You need two successes. You need two successes. Mind check versus two. You still have your knife. Yeah, I'm not charging something called a cyborg bully. You can get him next turn. All right, I'm going to try it again. Okay, another universal action. Eight and a five. Eight and a five. Um, so close. Needed six. Okay. All right. So you have the first turn, though. That was it. Oh, that was your whole turn. Okay. So I am going to try and spot 
So I have to make a mind check to try and spot this guy so I can flame him. Nice. Two, two successes to spot. Now I got to see if he's actually still close enough. All right, he's still six. He gets nothing from cover. So I'm going to try to flame him again. Oh, thank you. I did not <laughs> I did not deplete my ammo that time. And then I will attempt to wound him. With no, he has no armor. And that is one more wound and one petty crook for me. Nice. Took out one petty crook. And that was me because I had to... Um, I had to spot and then shoot. So over to you. All right. Once again, let's see what I can do. Try to run. Oh, fumble on my run. So what does that mean? Um, I don't think it does anything on your run. Okay. I didn't see anything about. And if any of you have played and know that otherwise, otherwise post it in the comments. Got one success, so five inches then. She has cover. I am going to attempt to shoot. All right, so she has cover, so she'll be plus one to her defense. And who are you shooting at? You're shooting at the petty crook. So, yep. Okay, so that's going to be... Oh, I did that wrong anyway. Petty crook only had defense one. but right. uh, So you so she's only going to be defense two. Okay, she's in 10 inches of my pistol. Defense two. So you said plus one, so it's defense three then, correct? No, no, no. I was giving you the oh. total. It's their defense one plus one. Got it, okay. Well, my shoot is four, so let's roll four dice. This guy's, uh, two successes. Two successes, that is oh, what you needed. Need. Okay. Great. And then my accuracy is plus two anyway, so that's great. Okay. And, and then you're looking for... Damage is two. Okay, so you'll roll two dice. Nine or an eight. All right, so two damage. He's got. She has one damage left on her. Pew, pew. Okay. And now they will act. So... We have a typical demeanor, so for the one that you just shot at, she's only going to seek cover, so she will find the nearest cover and get in it. For yours, the one over there you just shot. Okay. The Crooked Lawyer. Oh, the nearest cover is behind the actual... The Crooked Lawyer is I now can't... going to hide. <laughs> So not only did he seek cover, but he is now hiding under the truck. Zero. Okay. All right. Pistol pack and hoodlum over here is going to seek cover. Already seeking cover. No, uh, actually, you're visible. So probably going to seek cover like that. All right. And the cyborg bully. Let's see what the cyborg bully does. Lawyer's lying down. Is that supposed to... Yeah, I, that's, okay. I've got it marked as hiding. Aggressive. Got it. Oh, it is your lucky day, Nate. The cyborg bully seeks cover. The control cards, the control deck is the AI for it. Mm -hmm. So they know, even though he's a cyborg bully, he's not really that armed. And it can be tough for them to kill you. But, um... Alright, so... Scared of your knife. Right. Yes, they are scared of your knife, and you're actually pretty good with your knife, because mm -hmm. what's your fight? Four. Yeah. What's your shoot? Four. Yeah, oh, okay, you're so yeah. You're, you're Indiana Jones. I mean, you can go over there, and you, I mean, he has a lot of wounds, but you could probably go there and wrong, take him with your knife. Har wrong Harrison Ford. Hmm. Oh, sorry, wrong Harrison Ford. But remember, remember, though, Indiana Jones is just the dreams of Han Solo frozen in carbonite, right? <laughs> okay, so here's the control deck. Control deck. Pod restock. We don't need to restock pods. First player, which is me, draws two event we do, cards. We do because we killed one, don't we? No, pods, not tubes. I haven't, I haven't restocked crims yet. Pods are where we get ammo and health and stuff like these that. These little boxes these. right here. These oh. are the pods. These are the tubes. Mm -hmm. All right, first event card is a keeper. That means I don't have to let you guys see this one. Okay. Wah. Secrets don't oh, make friends. Secrets don't make friends. Oh, another keeper. Oh. Well, that doesn't... All right. All right, and now we place two crims, and we are actually down... Oh, we can only place one crim, though, because we can only have 
the number of hunters plus two of crims on the board. So the next crim that comes out, Raul, we'll roll a d10. The one, two, three, four, two. Okay, so one, two, this one right here. Closest one to you. It is another cyborg bully. Yay. Yay. There was much rejoicing. <laughs> there was very much rejoicing because he's not on my side this time like he was last time. Oh, dang. All right, so cool. I have the first turn. So I am going to... Now, um, one thing that you can... And I, for, I forgot about this. Sorry, oh, great and powerful YouTube people. You can focus. So you can spend oh. an action and upgrade a die to a 12. But you can't ever upgrade or downgrade your impact die. Mm -hmm. So, all right, I'm going to make an athletics roll. And, okay, that's not bad. I'm going to get six inches. Six inches. Ah, not quite close enough to the pod. I'm going to use my second move to go up to the pod. I'm going to open... No, I'm not. No, I'm not. What's I'm going to move again. Happen? I'm going to move again. Oh, oh, look at that. Another momentum. Jeez, racking them up today. Racking up the momentum. But only one inch for movement, so I'm going to go five. That should be your second momentum, because you already killed the guy a minute ago. You oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. I didn't get my momentum for that. You are correct. Thank you. All right. All right, and that is me. going to move again, see what happens. Okay, two successes, and one of them is on Oh, my... more, man, the momentum is rolling today. Great. So I Hold got on. a 10 on my impact dice. That means I get one momentum by default. Got two successes. I can go up to six inches. I'm just going to go partially that way. And hopefully unload on her. Shoot is four. I'm also going to use my character's ability. Well-rounded hunter. Once per turn, before making a check, you may upgrade two dice. Ooh. If the check generates three or more successes, gain one momentum. Ooh. So I'm going to... All right, I got 12s right here. I'll take two of them. Ooh, I think you're going to hit her. Um, and now she does have a defense of two, so you need two successes because she did seek cover. Easy day, and I already have an accuracy of plus two, so my oh, guy's plus two. Boom, boom, boom. So one, All right. two, three successes. I'm going to have to say goodnight, Gracie, to that petty crook. That one's yours for some points at the end. Did she die? Mm-hmm, she died. And you if... still want me to roll for damage, though? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. you got to roll for damage. I appreciate the, the gift, yeah. The, yeah. the likelihood that you're not going to kill, that do that one last move is pretty small. Okay, so because I did uh, make the success there, I do get another momentum just for doing that because of that royal, royal rendered hunter. All right, so there's your extra momentum. All right, I think you have a little bit too much momentum. Hardly. Never enough. Okay, so roll these two. Only one hit. That's all you needed was one damage because the okay. petty crook only had one left. Good. All right. All yours, Nate. All right, Nate. What you got? Pew. Um, I need my rifle. I'm going to spend a focus action to focus so okay. I can upgrade my other dice to a 12. All right. There you go. Nope. Oh, that was it, huh? Okay. How many dice to roll? You, your guy's pretty good with his knife, About man. Four for his. Uh, yeah, two. if I move more than six inches, I lose my gun for the rest of the game. So move five. Okay. You sure? Okay. All right. So now it is. That just makes his charge easier. Their turn. Um, can we have popcorn now? No. Um, all right. So their turn again. So starting with the. Pistol packing hoodlum. Okay. We have typical demeanor three. Pistol packing hoodlum is still looking to hide. Still gonna seek cover. Um, you'll uh, she's closer. He's closer to me, so you'll have to move him to seek cover from me because I'm the closer person. Mm -hmm. The crooked lawyer. Uh, crooked lawyer is going to flee. The only problem is the Crooked Lawyer doesn't have a whole lot of places to go right now because he's right in the middle of me and you. I mean, I'll probably be over here would be the best place. Yeah, probably. So Crooked Lawyer is It'll going to... The yeah. uh, only way I can think for him to flee would be to, like, 
run in Jump between there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. To run in between there and try to flee. Then we have Cyborg Bully over here. Your Cyborg Bully there, uh, Raul. Okay, where is he going? Uh, he's going to seek cover. All right, okay. So is yours. Well, he's already seeking cover, so just yep. close yep. to that wall. All right, now, control deck, and you will be first player again. Perfect. Control deck is pod restock. Don't need them. No event cards this turn. Mm -hmm. Place one crim, and we do actually need one crim. Perfect. And you want to roll for where he goes this time? Sure. Uh, seven. seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> right behind me. X Commando. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> right, an X Commando right behind me. All right, X Commando. Boom! Hello, I better turn around and kill him. Okay, okay, yep. I better turn around and kill that guy. What does he have? Big knife and a heavy pistol and a defense of three. Woo! And he don't play. All he does is shoot, charge, or seek cover. He doesn't flee. He doesn't hide. He doesn't do any of that. Okay, first thing I do is once again move. Three successes. Oh, nice. Okay, seven inch movement. Nobody's hiding right now, which is good. Pretty much just to get here, use this as my own cover. Shoot across it at these guys because now they are all within 10 inches of me for my pistol. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can even get a good eye on that cyborg. Great. Let's do the shoot. In this case, I'm going to once again use my ability to upgrade it. Okay. So, we're on the Hunter 2. One, two, three. Well, really, it's four higher because I have plus two I have for accuracy. But he did seek cover. Oh, okay. but, he, but he doesn't have any from you, does he? No. Okay. So, four successes right now. Okay. Now okay. you got to roll. Um, and let's see, that's a cyborg bully. He has the defense of two, so you're good there. Now you got to wound him. Hold on a second. He's got armor two, so you have to downgrade two of your dice. Okay. You only have, only have two for damage? only have two dice, Okay, yep. then you can't downgrade your impact dice, so you'll only downgrade one. Okay. Big money, big money. Come on. Two sixes. Oh, oh momentum. momentum. <laughs> okay, one wound. One wound on the cyborg bully. And that's this one, because he's the new one. All right. All yours, Nate. All right, focus. Find my gun. Okay. He's trying to, he's trying to, he's been trying to unjam it for the past couple yeah. turns. Come on! Nope. Oh, I fumbled. again. I fumbled. What's that mean? Nothing. Nothing. It's only on something with depletable. You're just making a mind check. Mm -hmm. And if that's an error, we'll correct it later. We're just trying to get that... The flow of the game, mm -hmm. and then all of the little refinements we'll get. Okay, so that makes my turn. Yep. Yes. Okay. Did um, you only get one dice, one action, not two. He had to focus. I'm, I'm it. focusing. Oh, because, I gotcha. I'm focusing because otherwise I'm rolling two of these. Still 40% chance. Yeah. Even rolling two tens. All right. I am going to flame this dude, the X Commando, needing. Well, I don't actually need anything because I have a flamer. I auto hit. I just got to make sure I don't deplete. All right, I did not deplete my ammo. So let's see. He does not have any armor though. Great. Three hits, right? Two. Two. I'll take two hits. Two hits on the X Commando. Except he's fixing to come and probably eat my lunch. Um, Is he on fire? Good grief. Uh, no, there, there's not a rule for on fire, but maybe there should be. In case you're watching this, Cynthia, maybe he should stay on fire. Wait, let me see. I like it. Can. Yeah. <laughs> Burn, baby, burn. Any crim within three inches of the target crim suffers a wound as well. Mm -hmm. So if you can get them bunched up, it's nice. All right, I got to do okay. it again because I'm afraid of him. Nice. All right, so I did not. Depletable is okay. And a roll to wound. And I got two, two but I want to kill him. So I'm going to spend one of my momentum to re-roll this non-successful one. Yes. Nice. All right, okay. so that's three on him, and that will take out the commando. Because he has five wounds. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so you are now... Oh, no, it's their turn now. Mm -hmm. So we have Pistol Pack and Hoodlum right there. Let's see what this fine person is going to do. Oh, I don't even have to roll. She's going to shoot. All right. So you're going to make a defense check against a shoot of two. So two successes yep. and four dice. Oh, None. no joy. Okay. So How much damage? Now you're going. Now it's uh, two damage. So one damage. Okay. Got it. Okay, so I'm down from max wounds of five to four. Not a problem. All right, and then we have your cyborg bully who is aggressive, and he is going to charge. Come at me. Oh, he is going to. I don't think he can make it to you, though. Measure five inches. I don't think he can make it around to you. Not quite, nope, but he's coming. He'll be right, about right here in front of me. And then we have the Crooked Lawyer. Whoa. So. Oops. No, he's going to continue to flee towards the table edge over there. They can't leave, though, because essentially they're walled in. So they can, this is it. This is the only area they have to go. And then the last cyborg bully, Nate's cyborg bully, is going to... Aggressive demeanor. He is going to charge. Also. But, Got him. No, he doesn't. He is one full inch shy. Mm. Hey, Nate, charge up to him with that you know, knife and just straight for the throat. All right, so that makes you our first player now. Next card in the control deck. No pods have been cleared out yet. No event cards are drawn. Three crims, but we only have space for one. Would you like to roll for which tube the criminal's coming out of? Let's go for it. And ten. Ten. That's going to be this one right here, and that is a cheap thug. Mm. That looks like a cheap thug, huh? You got a baseball bat, oh, and a yeah. bottle of whiskey, a jug mm. of whiskey. Okay. That's will shine. Mm. A little bit, little bit of moonshine. Mm -hmm. All right, and you have the first turn, sir. All right, I have a rule, stalk the prey. I can mark a model within my line of sight to be the prey. Their defense is lowered by one if I make Ooh. shoot or fight action against Ooh. them. And I add two pizzazz for my elimination quality check if I eliminate them. Okay. And then I'm going to charge this dude here. Okay. Because he was, at, it, the reason I wasn't doing anything was because he was too far away. Yeah, yeah. If I, I if I moved, I would lose my gun for the rest of the game. I hear you. Okay, so you targeted him with with your thing, right? Your yep. Stalk the prey. So his defense is lowered by one. Its armor is ignored, and I add two to my pizzazz for elimination quality. Ooh, that means if anything, yeah. Oh my goodness. It goes away if I kill him. Or if he kills me. There's a pretty good chance you're going to kill him with all that going on. Okay, so you're in there. You moved in. There's no charging, per se. So you have another action to attack him with. Okay, cool. Maybe good. I can, Great. Maybe I, can act, maybe I can Ooh. actually do something. See, I used him last time, and I didn't realize he was so good. in. The, the, he's pretty good in close combat. He's not as good as the Grinning Reaper was. Oh, yeah. The Grinning Reaper was ridiculous. He was just mowing dudes down. But remembering, too, that the concept of the game isn't that the Crims are going to kill you necessarily... You're scoring points. Right. All right, so one, two, three successes. Okay, so you're good because his defense was only two anyway, and you reduced it by one because of Stalk the Prey. Yep. So you're good there. Armor is ignored. Which is good because he has two. All right, uh, damage is two. Okay. So I'm still looking for sixes? Yep, always looking for sixes. Two. Oh, nicely done. Okay, he is still there, but he has he is at half wounds right now. All right, nicely done, sir. All right, my turn? Mm-hmm. All right, I still have one momentum left. I'm rolling over here, man. I'm just glad I actually get to play the game now. <laughs> <laughs> right? All right, I am going to... I'm going to move. Okay. Let me get one of those ten ciders. Of I don't course. care which one. My white one's my no ten. Oh, sorry. My white one's my. Okay. Mm -hmm. My brown one's gonna be my impact. That's fine. All right. And oh, that was pretty good. I get seven inches. I didn't really need it. It's up too. So yeah. I'm. I'm. 
I have no shame. I'm going to take out the cheap thug just for points. Might as well. All Look right. It's your so. own. He's mine. <laughs> that's that's the game. It's a, it's the running man. It's uh -huh. the contest. All right. I'm going to try and flame him. And I Two. did not deplete, so that's good. So then I'll roll to wound. And that is two. He has four wounds, though. Jiminy. All right, so that's two wounds on him, and I'm done. Over to you. All right. So obviously I've got the uh, cyber coming at me. I'm yep. going to shoot twice. Okay. First time, normal shot, not modifying anything. Okay, and he does not have any kind of cover, so you're going to be looking at simply a defense of two. Okay. Accuracy plus two, so let's see this. Three hits. Okay, easy beat his defense, right and there. now you will be downgrading two of your damage dice, because he does have armor two. Okay, well let me use this then. Uh, Don't forget you have momentum. I'm going to use my all the Hunter once per game. Uh, before making a check, you may upgrade two dice. I only have two dice for damage, so okay. my normal one I can't touch for my hit one, but I will upgrade my regular to be normal. Okay. And then I'm going to use one of momentum for upgrade plus one. Okay, okay, there you go. Nice, nice. Nice. This seems to be going a lot more smoothly than the first time, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. We were, we were higher, very confused higher. in the first game. Ah. Oh, no, did you get nothing? Nothing. Oh, oh dear. Just hit his arm and goes, Oh, Bleak. dear. Well, you got another shot, though. Yep, might as well make count. Okay, so. Oh, four dice. Four or higher. Okay, two hits, perfect. Actually, okay, three. Okay, he's got a defensive two. two, so you're good. But again, downgrade two of your damage dice for his armor. Hmm. He's another momentum just to upgrade his some normal okay. dice. So three, two, one. One hit. One, uh, one wound. Okay, one wound. That's the first one on that cyborg bully. Good grief. Yep, that's the first one on him. All right, and you were last. So it is going to be their turn now. So starting with the pistol pack and hoodlum right here it is a typical demeanor number two. He is going to shoot. Well, it's a she, so she only has one target. So you are looking for a defense roll against a shoot of two. So you'll make a defense roll looking for two successes. Two successes, okay. One second there. Six or higher. Nothing. Oh, no. Okay, so now damage. the pistol, I believe, the one that shot last time, too. Yep, damage two. Oh, I'm sorry, damage one. Okay. One Nine. damage. Okay. You might need points. to stop at one of those pods there and uh, see if there's a stim pack or something I'm in blocking there. blocking them. <laughs> All right, so that was pistol pack, and mm -hmm. so next we will go to your cyborg bully since he's right there. Aggressive demeanor. All right. Um, he is going to charge you. Okay. So move him in with his action. How many inches? Five inches is it? Yep. So the cyborg bully, five uh, inches. Boop. Yep. And you will be making a uh, defense against a fight of three. Oh, good grief. Okay. So one. Two. All right, so he's going to hit, and the damage on his cyber arm strike is going to be two. Do you have any armor? We, I, mean, uh, I haven't been asking you that. I haven't seen any armor on here, so we're going to say no, and then I'll just take yeah, it. Yeah, it'd be under your equipment. All right, and one wound. Okay. Just one. Down to two hit points. Ooh, dang. Might need to get... Hmm... Is it my turn? Yep. No, we were rolling through the guys. Okay. Because you just got uh, shot and charged. Right. Down to two. So dollars. now, yeah, now we're down to the crooked lawyer, and he is a cowardly demeanor. He is going to. He's gonna hide. So he's probably he's within range. He's probably gonna go hide behind that ice machine over there, or the truck or something. Let's lay him down so we know he's hidden. Oh. Okay. We already did your cyborg bully, so we'll do. The Cheat Thug next. Cheat Thug is aggressive, surprisingly. <coughs> and he is going to charge. Oh, man. He's going to charge. 
Jeez. What? All right, so uh, he has a fight of two, so I need to make a defense. They're not scared of that flamethrower at all. I guess not. Shot him, just made him mad. Right? His hat, set his hat on, or his whiskey jug on fire. All right, he has a fight of two, and I got a six and a nine, and a fumble. I haven't seen anything that says... I may be wrong. We will double check that and look it up, but we're not going to do it right now in the middle of the game. For the for right now, it's just going to be for depletable. So I got a nine and a six against his, so he does not hit me. Unfortunately, now I have to fight him in hand to hand combat, and I, I don't know that that's like my jam. <laughs> All right, and last one is your cyborg bully. He is already in combat, so he is going to attack you. You need to make a defense. At a fight of three. He's got a fight of three, so you'll roll defense and three successes to make him miss. I have a defense of three. Excellent. Go Do you have any armor? Nope. All right. I feel your pain. Nice. Um, oh. I got a memento. Okay. A success. And a fail. And you can spend that momentum to re-roll that. No? You're just going to... All right, so now you're looking at uh, damage potential of two. Potential. And he will do one. Okay, you have a... Oh, yep, sorry. There's one damage counter for you. All right, and then that is all of them. So now it is... Who's first player? Uh, I think it's me now. Yeah, is it you? Hey, okay. yeah. All right, control card. First player draws one event card. Pod, no pods would be restocked. And place three crims, but we have all the crims that we can have. If it says keeper on the bottom, you don't have to read it to us. Is she a keeper? <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to stab this dude in the face. All right, good. Stabby McStabberson. Oh, good grief! Six wounds on that guy. Yeah. R two D two has just entered the field of battle. <laughs> oh, I fumbled. No, no, not depletable. Your knife's not depletable, so you're good. Oh, I got two. All right, and he has a defense of two. So what's your damage? Damage is two. All right, so you're going to reduce those to D8s because he has an armor of two. Nope, armor is ignored. Oh, that's right, because you made him your prey. Uh, oh, no uh, wounds. Unless you Reroll, have reroll. You do have that momentum. You can reroll a die. Yeah. That's not worth it. Okay. All right, um, sadly... Um, I have another action. Oh, yeah, please, go ahead. I'm going to stab him in the face again. Stab him in the face. Nice. This time I get a momentum. Face stabbing. All right. And a success. Another momentum. And two successes, which is what you needed, because he's defense two. His defense is lowered by one, actually. Okay, then you still are successful. Um... <laughs> If I get more of these, I mean, I get to roll more dice when I'm trying to wound him. Um, surplus, I believe so. Let me let me check surplus rolls. Hang on. Yes. So any surplus successes. So you already have one surplus success. Okay. I'll spend one of these momentum to. Uh... Reroll one of those? Yeah. Sweet. That's okay, though, because you're still going to be... So whatever your damage is, plus one, because you got surplus successes. Uh, two. Two. Not bad on the cyborg bully, especially you've got him really, uh, really softened up. He's got one wound left. Jeez. Yeah. And he is worth a nice chunk of points. Clarification, Max. So if we're being attacked by someone, do we have to attack the guy who's on us or can we shoot at someone else? You cannot shoot if you're engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay. 
All right, so for me, I now have to do the same thing. So the Cheat Thug has a defense of two. I have a fight of four. I am... Oh, I've been rolling the wrong amount of dice for my shoot anyway. I have five. I've been selling myself short by don't, two dice. Don't feel bad. I've got a uh, piercing two on my actual rifle, on my pistol, and I haven't used it at all. <laughs> this is what happens when you're learning a game. Okay, my... My, uh, uh, yes, my, this is my red, the red one's going to be my impact die okay. for this roll. So I'm uh, making money, my fight money. action. All I have is a hunting knife, no extra accuracy or anything. Uh, I got two successes. I do have a momentum left. I'm going to go ahead and spend one of those momentum. I'd like to get a little extra damage. All right. So my normal damage is two. I had a surplus success to make it three. Probably should have saved that reroll. One wound. Oh, I needed him to. I needed to dish out two because you know he's gonna kick me in the face this time. Christian Mac, can yep. I use in close range my pistol to shoot? It's only melee weapons. Only close combat weapons right now. Okay. That's where that's where they finally start to get a little bit of an advantage. I think. Mm -hmm. What does shark do? Um, I would have to look it up. Let me see. Okay, so my melee close combat weapon is my cyber arm strike. No accuracy bonuses. Damage is two. Okay, so rolling three dice. See if I can hit him. And target six. Do I get any penalties that will affect my dice in this one, Matt? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. So he is... Defense two. Defense two, yep. So six, come on, sixes. Only one hit. Nope, not enough. Not enough. Uh, you know what? I'll spend my last momentum to see if I can re... I wasn't even supposed to roll this one. Roll the wrong dice, let me re-roll that correct one there. That's three, well... Still didn't work? Oh, I rolled a... An eight side Instead of a ten, so I tried to re-roll that we roll this one here. Nope, nothing. Not going to happen today. So the first hit was a miss. Try a second shot. I mean, stab, punch, whatever. Ooh. Nope, bad, and I fumbled with my fist. Rest, uh, it, rest yeah. in pieces. No, there's no ammo, yep, yeah. okay. Rest in pieces, roll. <laughs> it's a good run while it lasted. Okay, all yours there, Nate. No, he went first this time. Oh, went, okay. So it is now their turn, actually. Miss, miss, Ooh, miss, miss. Who put miss, that miss. cool marker on there? Where did that I did. come from? Nice. Yeah. What are those from? Infinity? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So we will start with the pistol pack and hoodlum. We certainly have infinite tokens. We do have a lot of tokens. <laughs> that is true. Typical demeanor yeah. two Fantasy is going flight. to shoot. Won't shoot into close combat. Fantasy Flight's good about that. <laughs> you know what? I don't know if they're supposed to shoot into close combat, but they're crims. Let's right. randomize it. See what happens. All right. You're one to five. I'm okay, <laughs> you're safe. So it's going to shoot at the other one. So his defense is two versus a shoot of two. And he does not shrug them. They'll both be downgraded to eight because he has armor two. Uh, that pistol only does one though, so two, no damage. But probably made the cyborg bully mad for dinging one off the back two. of his head. Yeah. All right, and then we have your cyborg bully is going to attack. And he is a fight three, so you'll roll your defense against a fight three. One, two, three. Defense of four, actually. I borrow more of these. Six or higher. Two successes. Needed one more. No love. All right, and damage two for the cyber arm strike. One. You're still in it. You're Barely still in it. Yeah, okay. You're still in it. All right. And for the crooked, the poor crooked lawyer, man, he's just, he, somehow we just need to kill him. Mm -hmm. And he's going to continue to flee. So run him more towards the edge of the board. All right. Cheap Thug is going to attack me because he's in close combat. So I will roll defense against a fight of two. Do we have to kill him? He is just running away. 
Well, technically, we don't have to kill him, but he's worth points. And I don't know about you, but my sponsors... Mm -hmm. My sponsors want points, man. We need viewers, okay? More viewers. Just do it. Don't worry about it. Just do it. it. Don't no, worry no. about it. He's, he is a bad person. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Red is my uh, okay. impact die. And Ooh. I only got one against him, and I have <laughs> nothing to reroll. Okay, so his bludgeoning weapon is actually damage, too. What is the penalty for breaking combat? Or breaking, sorry, uh, close combat? Take a wound. There is... I will take a wound. I just, just had it. I think it's a. Pl I think the person gets a plus one strike against you when you leave close combat. Oh. Disengagement strikes. There it is. Hunter may leave engagement for a variety of reasons. If you're engaged, they can still make a move action. However, if they wish for the hunter to exit engagement range, the crim will attempt to strike them as they leave. You can attempt to avoid the disengagement strike by making an athletics check versus their fight. If successful, the strike misses, hunter moves as normal. If it fails, then you suffer a number of wounds equal to the model's highest damage, minus one for each level of arm. All right. All right, so that was... Now it's your cyborg's turn, yeah? Yep. All right, so you need to make a defense against a fight of three. Three. Uh, spend my momentum to reroll one of the. Well, it won't do you any good. You only have one success. You need three. His fight is three. Oh. So you may as well not spend the momentum. All right. And any damage from Cyborg Bully? No. Cyborg Bully gently pushes you. <laughs> He attempts to offer you some of his snacks that he brought from the cafeteria, the prison cafeteria, unsuccessfully. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe I'm on the wrong side of this conflict. He, he just <laughs> seems like a nice guy. He's just, I mean, he's really not trying to hurt you that bad. All right, so that is everyone. He's yep. just misunderstood. Mm -hmm. Just misunderstood. And I will be first player this time. Control deck comes out. Restock pods. You, you, you need to get to a pod. Uh, first player first. draws three event cards. Oh dear. Ooh. This could be bad. Remains in play. First player places an object marker anywhere in a zone that is more than 12 inches away from any hunter. The first hunter to become adjacent to that marker gains a reload which can be used for any depletable attack. Remove this card from play once it is picked up. Alright, I'm going to put that right over there. Number two. All right, that's a keeper. And number three. Another remains in play. First player selects an area of terrain. It gains the dangerous keyword. If it already has the keyword, it becomes dangerous too instead. All right, so what needs to be dangerous? The truck. Jeep on fire. The, the Jeep on fire. Set the, uh, set, the, set the big truck on fire. Yeah. Explode the entire block. There you go. That's it right there, mm -hmm. the whole truck. The whole, there's a power line laying across it, and it's charged up. So the front the milk is, is actually cooking. double uh, cover, and the back is changed. Okay. <laughs> yes. Makes sense. Yeah. Just for fun. And just Matt, for just, fun. Just think about how old that milk must be. Ooh. All right. I need to get this dude off of me, so I'm going to attack him with my fight of four. He's going to kill you. He might. I'm hoping he won't, though. So with my fight of four... And he has a defense of two, so I need two successes. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Eight, nine, six. I'll take those three. And that's going to that's gonna net me one extra for damage. So I'll be rolling three damage. Come on, man. Six. Boom! With no armor. The cheap thug is down. That was cheap, man. That was cheap. I can't believe I did that to that thug. <laughs> Now the real question is, let's see. You know what? I'm just I'm flat out going for points here. So I'm gonna turn her around. I'm gonna get my little tape measure here. 
And I'm going to take my heavy pistol. And I'm going to shoot that guy. Pew, pew. I'm not sure if I can shoot that guy, but that would be dirty. Because oh, yeah. he has one wound left. And just pop him in the back. Mm -hmm. But I won't do that to you. Points. All right, so I'm going to try to shoot the pistol pack in Hoodlum. I've got a shoot of five, which I haven't been rolling. Five against a defense of two. And I got three. So that's going to net me an extra damage. And my heavy pistol is only two. Ooh, look at this. I could take her, I could take her out in one shot if I get lucky. Here we go. Whoop, I need my impact die. Skadoosh! Six, nine. Oh, man, that was close. I got two. All right. Over to you, sir. Here, try to disengage, see what happens. So it's my athletics versus his fight. And his fight is three, because he is a cyborg bully. Okay, I'm going to use my standard die and use my ability confidence. Okay. Upgrade. Do you have any momentum left? Sorry. Oh, and... No, the round hunter once per turn before making a check, you may upgrade two dice and the check generates uh, three or more successes. Gain one. Oh more no, more. I was just wondering if you had any to add to whatever. Oh no, it's it is all gone. Doing. Yeah. Okay. So. Fight of three. Can you get away? Six, six, six. Come on, let's go. Eight, ten. Perfect. Oh, go. momentum on the impact. And did you get three successes? Yes, I got three successes. Okay, so you get a one for the impact die momentum and one for getting three successes because of your ability. Actually, what I didn't do earlier was confidence. Whenever this hunter rolls ten on impact dice during a check, gain two momentum automatically. Oh, so you just gained three momentum with one dice roll. Boom, okay. Wow. I like that hunter. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure my best thing to do is get away. All right, step out. So, for my action, since I need to roll it before I actually ran away, see if I lost it, I'm going to do athletics to see how far okay. you actually run. Goodbye, goodbye. One, two, three, come on. Six again. Two successes, I'll take that. All right, six inches. On the plus side, he's only got a movement of five. First action, can he do five? You sure, you sure you don't want to go around behind the police car so you can take a shot at him still and make him go around? Like, take a shot now, but he'd be just barely away from me. Okay. So I was trying to measure there, like, yeah, right, he, oh, no. Does he still get to you? Yeah, he'd still get to me. I have to move again just in case. Might be the last turn, but i got to stay alive oh, here. Oh, it's not the last turn. The next one is the last turn. Boom. No successes. Oh, okay, so four, four inches. But he can't reach you now. And you will get another round to shoot at him. Right. And four will put me actually behind this cover right here. Excellent. Okay. All right, Nate. This guy has one wound left. I need two more. Two more dice. There you go. And he is defensive one because of your, because you are Hugo Strong. You already got your one, so roll your damage. Of course, roll, yeah, you might get extra damage there. Nope. Nope, that's all right. You only need one. Wow, that was terrible. There it is. One. There it is. Perfect. That'll do it. Bam. Yeah, I got one kill this game. Cyborg bully. You didn't just get a kill. You got a cyborg bully kill. That's no small potatoes right there. That was not a joke. No, he is not a joke. Cool, All now right. I get to try to find my gun again. Yes. Oh, you do have an extra action. Go for it. No. Nope. <sighs> okay. Can you use momentum to reroll one of those dice? Yeah, you have a momentum. Or you had one success. Okay. I don't remember what I rolled. You rolled an eight and a four, so your impact die was the failure. So you can reroll your impact die. Could be a ten. Could be, and then you can get that momentum right back. Kind of like a... It... Right. <sighs> The mechanics of that is a little bit like the feet in the drowned earth. How you right. can potentially regenerate that mm -hmm. uh, that impact that um Action. that thing. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> the thing I'm trying to say with the stuff. Thing, thing, thing. Yeah. All right. So, pistol pack and hoodlum is going to. Ten. Flee. Really? Uh, yep. Um, I would surmise 
Can't see me, can see you. The bad thing is what it's going to do to Jump me. Jump through a window? Yeah, I, that's to flee. That's going to completely out of line of sight, mm. unfortunately. So, and then we have your cyborg, cyborg. bully for his aggressive demeanor. Eight. Is three. Actually, he's going to charge, so he'll charge as best he can to you, but he's not going to make it. Perfect. And then the our mighty crooked lawyer. Come at me, bro. Oh, look at that. The one time he had the potential to charge, and he's all the way over there. Guess what he's going to do? Flee! Guy? He's going to oh. flee. He's going to go cower back there in the corner of, of the wall. Sounds good. Yelling up at the cameraman, please help me! Please help me! <laughs> <laughs> while they cardboard shame... Cardboard signs holding up there and send help. Yeah, yeah. While they, while, he, while they shamelessly eat their sandwiches and watch him. Mm -hmm. All right. Last card for control deck. I believe you are first player this okay, turn. see what happens. All right. No, no pods restocked. Each player, each player draws one event card. Oh. Discard non-keeper cards. So if you don't get a keeper, discard it. All right, mine's discarded. Discard. Wow, that was a really good card. That one cool. said first player gains four momentum. Wow. I can use it. whatever. Yeah. All, All right. right. Oh wait, hold on. Crims. Oh, they're only gonna get one crim though. Okay. See, Nate, want to roll? See where the crim pops up. Five. Five. Right in the middle. Okay. And it is a sneaky thief. One sneaky thief. Oh, decisions, decisions. Mm, she looks squishy. <laughs> My feelings exactly. All right, Mr. Raul, over to you, sir. First things first, shoot at the cyborg guy. Maybe I get lucky. Maybe I don't. Last turn, so he's not going to kill me. So, shoot a four. Ooh, yeah, you're going to have to do some serious damage. You well, I missed last time because got pierced, too. So, it really, we got right to the armor. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what was killing yeah. me. Yeah. So, do you have the range to her? I say, because she's only got two wounds. She looks more than ten inches to me. Oh, yeah, she is. I didn't realize you. Oh, know. yeah. Pistol's limited, but it does good stuff. So... Accuracy plus two, rolling four dice, no bonuses, boom. Wow. Defensive two, what you got? I have one hit, but I'm going to spend uh, two momentum to reroll two of my dice. Okay. Because it's plus two, so that one's actually success. There it is. Two hits, perfect. All okay. Nice. And you have pierce two, so you can ignore that armor. So normally it's two... Spend my last momentum to upgrade the die. Okay. So, six or higher. Can we do it? I see. It's got a five. That's a miss. The other one is... Come on. Lift the truck. Dun, 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 dun. Oh! oh, no. No so wound. So, one. So, failure. Nothing happens there. Oh, uh, if I stay there long, I'm going to get shanked. So Maybe. He may not get charged. Let's see. Aggressive demeanor. Yeah, he's going to charge. Yeah. So let's roll and see how far he can run. And then before I do that, I've got an ability that says keep. Oh, dang it. So, burst of speed. Play this card when a hunter takes a move action, but before the athletic oh, check is made, hunter nice. gains plus two athletic for this check. Nice. So right off the back, instead of being athletic uh, three, I'm five. Or am I not reading that right? No, that's... Your athletics goes up by two. So we're rolling five dice to the three dice. So... Ho! Four. Ho! Eight nine, inches. Yeah, oh, eight inches. Because four plus four is still eight. It's no, it's not nine. <laughs> I was thinking your... I was thinking your base was five. All I right. Not unless you know something I don't. I don't. <laughs> All right. Magnum Steel takes a position around the back corner. Come at me. Hugo! I can't do anything. But I'm going to look for my gun. Okay. Nope. There there it isn't. Hey! hey there it is! It only took me the entire game. You found your gun. All right, my turn. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm trying to score some points here, folks. We've well, got it already. I am going yeah, to we can't beat you. blame that one. 
One, two, three, four, five, because my shoot is five. And I'm good there, no deplete. And that will be three potential damage on the sneaky thief. Oh, Ooh. no! Any momentum? <laughs> no. Oh, actually, I do. I got a momentum from last time. Okay. But I'm not going to... Might as well. Last turn. No, I'm not going to spend it. Okay. I'm going to take another shot. Uh, I will spend it. You're right. You're right. I'll spend it. Boom. Right, it's a hit. put one wound on her. And then I'm going to take another shot. Four, five... And so I, need to, I gotta reroll that though, because I had two white ones for my. Okay. I'll call the brown one my impact die. Okay, I'm Do good. It, yeah. And damage. There we go. And she only has two. So she goes down as well. Perfect. And. All right. They're gonna go, but no one can get to anyone to do anything. Um. Even if she were to get a shoot, which she has, but she can't see anybody to shoot. He's going to charge, but he can't get anywhere. Mm -hmm. He could potentially... Nope, he's just going to flee. So that's it. So that's a game. So. Charge. All right. So next phase is... I know we already know I killed the most, but total up your kill points. So that'll be your BPV on the top there, Nate. Ten. Ten P BPV for Hugo Strong. Five for Magnum Steel. Five for Magnum Steel, and I got five, ten, twenty, twenty-six for the Blue Beret. Whew. All right, well, guys, thanks. Good game. Yes, good game. So thanks for joining us, guys. I'm sure we got a whole bunch of rules wrong, uh, but check out the rule book. The Urban Manhunt is from Spectrum Games. It's a lot of fun. It's sort of co-op, so check it out. There it is. Uh, Raul's got the book in there. Turn it this way. There you go, Urban Manhunt. Hey. And uh, we've also got a review up on the YouTube channel, so check that out. And also let us know how this different view was for the game. Hopefully it gave a little bit better, better perspective of what was going on in the battle. Um, thanks for watching and check us out Monday night live on our painting show as well that is on Crowdcast. You can check it out via our CoastalCon Facebook group and follow the link. Until then, see you later. CoastalCon 2020. Bye-bye.